I was reading a, a couple of uh, the research papers on the mid-size or mid-scale uh, hotels in uh, India, and it was a little skeptical. Most most takeaways were skeptical, mm -hmm. and uh, the the focus was on asset brand and operations, the three pivotal points around which the mid-scale works. In India, it's time to break even because of the fact that your overhead costs are high, and um, the brand is okay. I mean, you you'll pay for it, but considering the mass of the unorganized sector, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. How do you see these three as challenges? The business is a challenge. India is not the easiest place uh, to do business. But I think we already have 12 hotels that are actually very successful. So I think we know how to do it. We, we have a very um, experienced group of operators here based in, uh, in Delhi. Most of them are, are, are local uh, Indian people who've been with us many years or have joined us. So I think we, we understand the market, and it does come back to choosing the location where you're going to be, having the right owner who's prepared to invest in the property, and uh, having great people. Now, we already employ 3,400 people in India. Mm -hmm. We're going to be employing thousands more over the next few years. One of the big investments that we make is in training and developing people to be able to offer a great hospitality experience. So I think in a market that's growing at the pace that this market's growing at, with the demands that are out there for people wanting better hotel experiences, because there are a lot in, you know, that are not that great, and it's about value, it's not actually about cost. And, and we have the ability to do that. So I'm actually very confident about the business here, and I think we can create some very, very successful and uh, profitable hotel operations. And how long will it take before profits start getting churned out of these uh, hotels in Tier 2, the Holiday Inn Expresses and, and things? I mean, what is the kind of uh, ballparking that you have done? Well, any hotel takes time to ramp up. But where you've got high demand growth, which in the sorts of markets we're looking at, you know, pretty high, mm. then uh, you can generate positive cash flow very quickly. It, it, comes back, it comes back to what you're trying to do. So for us, as a big operator, clearly we've got scale benefits when we think about operations and operational effectiveness and things like you know, how you manage energy. We have uh, something called Green Engage, which is a, an online tool that we have to really help hotels manage energy waste, uh, water, and so on. And it's how you can deliver revenues. So with our revenue systems, our websites, our call centers in India, our frequency program with 63 million members, we're really advantaged from the off. And that's why owners want to partner up with us, because we can bring expertise on operations and revenues, which get you up to um, profitability and positive cash flow uh, as fast as anybody. Your, your first 12 were a little slow in coming. The next uh, mm. 100 odd are going to be really mm. fast. Mm. Uh, uh, what has been the trigger for this acceleration in a market like India? It, it really is. I think it's a, it's a, it's a number of things. I think it's uh, partly about um, we've had focus in other markets and we're now very focused on India, so we, we're, we're really moving forward on that. I think it's more the way the market has evolved. So, the ho as I said, the hotel market doesn't necessarily track exactly alongside GDP growth or uh, in the way that some other industries do, like fast fast food, for example, which is a much lower unit price. You know, for a dollar or the equivalent, you sure. can go into a fast food restaurant. You can't do that in a hotel. So there comes a point where disposable income, middle class, corporate activity suddenly gets to a, a point, and infrastructure investment, which is where India has been slow relative to some other markets, kick in such that there is a demand for hotels. And that's the point we're at now. And that's why you're hearing quite a lot from hotel companies generally about the opportunities here. What are the profit, the sort of addressable profit opportunities around the world for the hotel markets? India is going to be in the top five.